problems, worries, sadness. Are you seeking solutions? Bible says, do not be anxious about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Choose faith over fear. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Today, we're going to be baking a super duper yummy Christmas cake. Christmas cake! Christmas food. It's so delicious. Yeah. One of the best things about Christmas is the food. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. These biscuits are good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Apparently, around all different countries, people eat all these really different exotic foods. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Because, you know, Australia, everyone sort of, it's known that we eat prawns and, and shrimp. Ham. Yeah. I wonder yeah. what so, other countries eat. Yeah. I wonder too. Yeah, look Do you wanna, let's up. look it up. Yeah, let's look it Shall up. Shall we? Let's see what we can find. Okay. Ooh, Iceland, Iceland has is smoked lamb. Smoked lamb. That's, that's, that's different. That tastes good. That's yeah. different. From Greece, what are we, what is this? Oh, I can't say that word. <laughs> Mello macarona. Maybe biscuits. some macaroni. Is Greece in Africa? <laughs> oh, they look good, don't they? Sort of in Europe area. Oh. Yeah, it's not in Africa. What else? What, other, what do other countries do? Uh, Venezuela. Ooh, this Whoa. looks exotic. Look at that picture. That looks like seaweed. What? Beef, pork, chicken, capers, Whoa. raisins, Whoa. olives, wrapped must, in a leaf. They put it all in there. Yeah, wow. yeah. A leaf. Pack thing. it in. Mm. Okay, let's look at America. Mm. Probably something big Hand and unhealthy. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sweet potatoes, oh, yeah. sugar, cinnamon sauce. Yeah. I guess oh, okay. Yeah. It's like a big sort of pie dish. Mm, that, um, that England mince pies. Mm. Do you guys course. like mince pies? I don't actually like. Yeah, them. I like. Well, them. Santa no, likes them. We always leave <laughs> yeah. them out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Russia. Russia would be interesting. That is interesting. It's like a warm dish because it's winter there. Yeah. Porridge yeah. with grains and honey and fruit. Um, Spain, Turkey, stuffed turkey. Mm, yeah. Austria, a big yeah. fish. <laughs> Are they strawberries? A big fish. Yeah, look at that In picture. In Austria. Mm. That's what should, interesting. What, what do you think we should make? I think more dessert. Well, we well we can we can try them roast lamb maybe, but I think what the dessert we we should try. Christmas cake. Christmas yeah, cake. That's, that's a good idea. What time you try to make fruit that? Cake? Yeah, yeah, fruit cake. Fruit Christmas cake. Christmas yeah. cake. Okay, Thomas, you look it up. Okay. And then why don't you get all the ingredients together and we can start when we yeah. finish eating. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. Yep. Okay. Let's do it. While you do that, I'm going to go set the table, okay? I'll okay. set it for us to eat the cake. <laughs> all right. Okay. When you come back, See you guys. there'll be okay. no good pieces luck. left. <laughs> yeah, you better be fast. <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, good luck with it. Okay. See okay. you. Bye. See ya. Oh, it's Fun British. Day. Well, well, it looks like I've got the recipe here. It says we're going to need quite a few ingredients. Hopefully we have them all. All right, guys, we got all the stuff. Yep. yep. Here we go. This is, going, this is looking great. Yep, yep, I think so. Okay, so we've got the dried fruit, sugars. Yep. 
I think we've got everything. Flour, the yep. eggs. I think that's about it. Yep. Okay. So what's the recipe say? Um, let's see. So, first, we have to put the one kilograms of mixed dried fruit. Here we go. Um, so we also need to zest and juice one orange and one lemon. So, uh, yeah. Let me just start. Ah, uh, yes, please. So let's get 250 grams of softened butter. Okay, Do you want to cut that? that? Yeah, this and one could I borrow good. this, please, JP? So scales are really important because otherwise, if we put too much of something, it won't taste right. And if we put like too much of butter of sugar, then it'd be really sweet. Yeah, so. we don't want it to be too yeah. sweet. And then yep. how much yes do we need? Um, we need, okay, um, and we need 200 grams, so can you get the light brown sugar and in a large pan set over a medium heat. And how much butter do we need? Um, we need 250 grams. They used to put heaps of alcohol into these, and they'd even soak the uh, the raisins in alcohol, this sort of oh. barley. Yeah, they really liked it. It started in England, actually. Wow. Yeah. So this yeah. is an English dish? Yeah. Fruitcake is, it came from the English. And then people used to, because fruitcake lasts yeah. forever, they'd send it overseas. And then that's how we ended up having it. And these raisins are actually dried grapes. And most of it is for used for wine and like all that sort of stuff. Hmm. All right, so I have the 250 grams. Of yep, so we just need to melt that a bit. So pop it in the microwave. You think that's enough zest? Ah, oh, yeah, that should be enough for the lemon. Okay. And the... Just grab a bowl to put it in. Yeah, and you have to juice it as well. Um, so, John Paul, would you like to put this in the pan right here? Hang on. Yep. Yep. Um, and... You've got the softened butters there. Mm -hmm. And you want to put that in right here. All right, it's just in the microwave. Okay, I'll go. Need a bit more heating. Yep. With that. All right, did you need these scales? Maybe later. Maybe later, yeah. yeah. Quite an interesting cake, actually, because what happened was they used to just put whatever they could into it in England back in the day. And wow. they, yeah, so they even put meat in it, would you believe? Meat? Yes. Yeah, we don't do that anymore. But yeah, they used to, the, especially the rich people in England, they used to put meat in their cake. Good. Wow. Was it Pop true that, that the fruitcake used to be a porridge? Yeah, well, we well fruitcake is really just, uh, they used to put, oh it God. used to be a porridge, eventually became really thick, so it then became a cake. Oh. Yeah. They, they started adding so many things that oh, it became wow. big. Yeah. How did meat get into cake? <laughs> they just, well, especially with the poor people, they would just put whatever they had into it and make this one really big, thick porridge. And it somehow became a cake, even though it had meat in it. And it tasted good. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. Um, so step two is, well, so we'll have to bring this over to the stove once we've filled this up. Yep. And. We'll have to bring it to a boil and then lower the heat and simmer for five minutes. So guys, I'm going to give you a riddle. So, what is, has no edges, has no corners, is perfectly round, but has gold inside it? A golden egg. Golden. Yes. An egg. Yes, an egg. an egg. Of course. Yep. Should I get a whisk for this? Ah, uh, yes, that'll be. Do you 
guys know how the Christmas cake actually, how, why we still make it today and where it came from? No. Well, I can tell you For actually. Our stomachs. <laughs> well, yeah. But you know, so you know in Advent how people usually give up something? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, in the past, people used to fast a lot. They wouldn't yeah. eat a lot of sweets and candies and all that. Yeah. So they could, to prepare for Christmas, to prepare for Jesus' birth. So they'd go through all of Advent not eating anything, not eating any sweets or anything, which would be very hard. And then on Christmas Eve, what they would do is they would make a porridge. A uh, porridge? Yeah, they'd make a porridge, this really thick porridge and they to get themselves ready for Christmas when they could eat all the sugar and yeah, candy yeah. And things. So they'd make this big porridge and then and they and then that porridge after a long time it eventually became a cake called a and well in the past it was called a plum pudding. And so they had they put used to put in honey and raisins and fruits yeah. and they even sometimes put meat in. And, uh, and also, yeah, yeah, meat. And also the nuts there yeah. that we have. So yeah, that's the, and it was called the, the plum pudding. And then eventually, because it was so, people loved it so much in England, what happened is they used to bring it, they then brought it overseas. So they wow. brought it to other parts of Europe. Work? How did it last long? Well, fruit cake lasts forever. Yeah. We know that. <laughs> it lasts forever. You can keep it in the fridge and it lasts yeah. forever. Yeah. Oh. But you really can just make whatever you, whatever recipe you want. Now, you, the poor people, they didn't have so much sugar, so they just put whatever they had. Then the rich people would put more sort yeah. of fancy yeah. stuff. Yeah. Wow, so it yeah. all came from a porridge? Yeah, and then a, then a pudding and then yeah. a cake now. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, they used to actually, they used to, after, they'd wait 12 days. So they'd make it and they'd wait 12 days. And on the, I think it was, there's a feast called the 12th day, I think. And oh, wow. on that feast, you eat the cake. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it's quite cool. But, That's really yeah. interesting. Heat the oven to 150 or 130 mm. Celsius. Ooh, I oh, okay. Like, we're celebrating Jesus' birth. It yeah. makes sense that we have a sort of birthday cake, I guess. Okay, guys, so I decorated the cake. Wow. Oh, it looks oh, amazing. amazing. Yeah, so I put tinsel around it oh. and icing sugar on top. Oh, so, yeah. Nice. yeah. So, hopefully, it tastes good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure it will. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to. Do you guys all want a piece? Yes. Yeah, yes. Definitely. yes. Okay. <laughs> and they last. So you can keep them all day. Yeah. Day. <laughs> okay. Mm. Why do we have such rich food at Christmas? Why do we have all these big parties all together? It's because Christmas is the biggest celebration of the year where everyone comes together. Whoa, that's amazing. Very rich. Lots of fruit and stuff. Yeah. Mm. Very nice. Mm. You can taste all the dried fruits in there. They can also taste the cinnamon. Yeah. yeah. Mm. yeah. The mixed spices. Mm. I love celebrating Christmas. It's mm. just 
It's one of the best things to do. Mm. Christmas is the most celebrated holiday on Earth. People who are non-religious even celebrate it. Everyone comes together and enjoys all this rich, decadent food and presents and celebration. Why do we spend so much time celebrating Christmas? It's because it's the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ who came down to save us from our sins. This makes it the biggest festival and holiday of the year. We can therefore make Christmas holy by praying, by being together with each other and celebrating the joy of life. It's a time of togetherness and ultimately a time of joy. And what is the root of joy? The root of joy is Christ. talk in our church today about the new evangelization and we might ask well what's new about the new evangelization one thing that's new is that we're trying to renew the faith in people who should already be catholic should already be christian individuals families communities whole cultures that need to rediscover the gospel and so what's new is that they're getting a new shot in the arm of faith of evangelization another thing that's new about it is the way that we do that and the new media and groups like Shalom World TV are very important for bringing the gospel anew to our cultures, to our families, to each of us individually. And so I encourage all the viewers of Shalom World TV and I encourage uh, Shalom World TV themselves to keep up the good work, uh, to keep watching this channel and to keep up the good work of presenting the Catholic faith to our world today.